All right, cool. So we're ready. Is it shooting? Yes. Okay. Quiet on the set. All right. So we'll run it again. And action. Whoa! Come on, guys. I get called in here for breaking and entering, and you guys are pulling this shit. Look, Rich. This is not what it looks like. Okay. I just came here to get my brother out of this house. This isn't ours. Yeah, it was a setup. Nikolai called in and supplied the drugs. He had Amoretti do his dirty work. Amoretti and Nikolai know each other? Yeah, they have for a long time. Did you know this, Dan? I just found out. I've been doing my research. Cut! Was that good? And... Okay, Mac. We're gonna need more of a rewarding delivery. You know, we want Dan to show Rich that he's been doing his homework without really hurting Rich's feelings. Right, Matt? Um, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Hey, what's up? Sorry about that. Was caught up with what Stu said. But here we are, doing it. We're filming Blood and Sacrifice. This is so awesome. Everyone's here. Got my actors in costume. My crew's doing their thing. I got Mark waiting for a scene later. And Clara, she's doing makeup. She's awesome. Hey, Jose. Scar, is holding up? Claire, is this going to be hard to get off? <laughs> I love everyone's hustle. It's a shame Todd couldn't be here. About a week ago, he left a package on the doorstep. <laughs> what is with people leaving shit on my doorstep? Hey, yo, Matt. Hate to bounce out on you, but I had to skip out of the country for a bit. Got broed out here in L.A. Had to go to Amsterdam for the Cannabis Cup, yo. You should come with, too. It's lit. You could stay at my place. Anyway, here's my camera. Use it wisely, my guy. Peace and love. Todd. Funny thing is, he has the same exact camera I use for my auditions. Still appreciate the gesture, though. <laughs> and Glyphberg? He disappeared one day when he went out to get batteries. Orville has not been the same since. We hope he's alright and he comes back soon. Orville's been devastated. Anyways, we persevered and here we are. Kicking ass. <laughs> Cannot wait for the weekend. Take my mind off this project and have some fun. Tomorrow, Paul's company's hosting an event. Paul said there'd be some contacts who are in the industry, so we're all going to go check it out. We're waiting to hear more about it, though. We don't even think Paul knows. Okay, sir, here you go. Now, in addition to these, I have emailed you the sizes and sticker templates to your email, and I have sent the package to your house. Here you go. Hmm. Tell me what you think. I like it. It's pretty far out. You know what? I love it. I love, 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 love it. Baby Louise, I'm coming home for you. Nobody's gonna take you away from me. We'll get our stuff, we'll start a new life. What the hell are you doing? Practicing my favorite monologue. Thinking about being an actor. Ha! <laughs> my roommate's an actor. <laughs> you know, I'm an actor too. There was a lot of films years ago. Wild times, man. I was in this porno once. It's called Manaconda. Hey, guys. Listen up. Tomorrow's charity event is going to be a blast. I just got off the phone with Maria. We were just talking about it. Uh, it's going to be a charity walk. It's going to be for the LA School District and the Hollywood Performing Arts. It's going to be amazing. And uh, also, we have to make sure that we get there at 5 a.m. because we have to be there early to set up. And Maria and Marcus are going to get there at 6 to help with the breakfast. So I need everybody to be up at 5 a.m. We really have to get this going the right way, okay? Oh, that sounds like fun. Sounds like shit. You kidding, Rick? Does it look like I'm kidding? Wait a minute, didn't you say there were going to be people there from the industry? Yeah, we're expecting a lot of people with a lot of money, so yeah, there's probably going to be someone like that there. Maybe I can find a director that'll cast me. So where's the event? <sighs> ah, shit. Um, let me, let me call her again. What the 
fuck do you want? Hi, Maria. Uh, where's the address again? Are you kidding me? Guys, holy crap, dudes, amazing performances. Wow. Thanks, man. It was crisp. It was fresh. Bomb. Yeah, man, thank you. I was very nervous at first. You were fine, man. At first I was like, holy shit, he's underplaying it. Yeah, I guess I was. Ouch. Sorry, Jose. Uh, ready? What? I'm so sorry. Well, maybe you could use some more spirit gum remover. Oh, right. Um... I was just using water, but you're right. I probably should get some of that, but whatever. Here you go. Ready? <laughs> These guys are pretty damn good, dude. I, right, I, right. We, we I kind of like the crew that we... <sighs> well, fellas, great fucking work. So far, we're on track with our schedule and budget. I'm proud of you guys. I really am. Thanks, Roger. I mean, this is all brand new. I don't even know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it, Matt. We got this. You know, just three more weekends of this. It's all ours. <laughs> Look at you guys. Power combo. Boom. <laughs> I like that. I like this guy. Yeah, he's uh, he, he's he's the man, Roger Hauser. All right, guys. Uh, when are we getting damn ready scenes? I've been here all day, and it doesn't even look like you guys are close. Dude, I'm, I'm done shooting. Dude. I'm fucking done today. I got, I got a fucking audition. What? Man. We've already been shooting for the last eight hours. All of us are done for the day. I thought we'd get to the scene with Amoretti. Fuck, man. Wasted Mark's day. Dude. Um, I... I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, we're, we're still gonna pay for today. Like... <sighs> it's a good thing I like you guys. So Dude. Whatever. I, I'm so sorry. We're, we're gonna be doing your scene just the next time we shoot, like, first thing. Um, okay guys, that's a wrap on today. Great fucking work, all right? Next shoot is next Thursday. Email will go out next Wednesday. Good job, guys. Man, Stu is really stepping up. I owe him big time. So does Orville. I don't even have to ask him. He just does things almost instinctively. Okay, does anyone need help with the camera, going through the car stuff, anything? No, we're all good, Orville. Are you sure I can help carry the backpack, the camera, the, the tables? No, we're, we're good. Come on, I can bring the backpacks, the camera, the boom mic. Orville, shut the fuck up and let's go. Man, Stu's a dick. Hey, Rick. Where are we going and what time? Here. Printed out flyers. Bring your friends. Charlie doesn't have any friends. Just a doll at home he calls Julie. Son of a... You know she goes by Juliet. Cool. And every two of my roommates, they're all excited. They don't even know what it's about. Oh, good, good. The more people you bring, the better. That way Maria will leave me, or I mean us, alone. Remember guys, 5 a.m. tomorrow, okay? 5 a.m. I'll see you there. Yeah, we know. We're not two. Well, you are. Hey. So did you find an editor yet? Well, I was kind of thinking of giving it a shot. You? Did you ever edit before? No, but I feel like I'd like to control something like that. Try it out. Okay, man. I'll let you handle it. I don't even know how to edit. Shit, shit, shit. Jeez, Paul, is work that bad? No. It's just... Well, okay, here we go. Here is the address for the event tomorrow. And it's a walk for charity, and the money goes to school around the Hollywood area. Hmm. Do we have to pay to get in? No, it's free, but they do ask for some type of donation, and from what I hear, there's going to be people from the industry there. So what I was thinking was maybe you could pitch your idea. Well, screenplay, you know, to get some funds for the project. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. 
there's gonna be a lot of industry folks there? From what I hear, yes. And my coworkers are gonna be there. So you guys are gonna get to finally meet them. Exciting, right? Oh, joy. Well, this is a great opportunity. I wish we had the scenes we shot edited already. I can give him a copy to watch. At least I can pitch the story and talk about the progress we've made so far. Stu's game, so it'll be a good time. Paul looks down for a good time as well. So Paul, isn't it great that you started working at Lysol Cherry? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard you bitch about Shelly for a long time. I mean, it's been such a pleasant experience. Oh man. Man, I haven't thought about Shelly in a long time. It's been so long. I wonder how she's doing. Hey, didn't you say that uh, she's not with that Steve guy anymore? He's in the army, right? Well, hopefully Paul has a good time. Damn it, Stu. You had to remind him of Shelly. Maybe I can still get a chance with her. You guys think I should call her? What do you think? Awkward. Okay, let's get this over with and get back home to editing. Hi there, everyone. Uh, my name's Spencer Howard. I'm gonna be your host today. My assistant Pamela isn't here today, so it's just gonna be me. So, uh, how are you guys doing today? Just fine and dandy. That's great news to hear. So today we have a fun-filled day plan. We kick things off with a fun little relay, and then a little afternoon drawing for a ballot of some sorts, and then a celebratory party for all our donors, because we really want to hit that goal. What if we don't have any money to donate? That's fine. Anything you have can donate because every bit counts. Um, will there be food? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have lots of fun and healthy snack options for later. And the person who donates the most money is going to win a gift card to Tech World. But for now, put your hands together and let me introduce the CEO and owners of Lysol Cherry International, Maria Selsnick and Marcus Healy. This is going to be a total shit show. Knock it off, Sylvan. Come on. Hello, hey. everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you sure? Yeah. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming out. I started with this company about 20 years ago. Oh, and... here we go. Is there a problem? Yes. No one want to hear your boring ass speech. Go to hell, Marcus. Oh, I will do my speech however first, I Maria. want. In a handbasket, Marcus. Oh, I'll bring the freaking ice water. Oh, here we go. What am I doing here with these people? Paul got me again. <laughs> and it's also pretty windy outside. Okay, Paul, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to stay here with Sylvan. Uh, Charlie couldn't make it because he had his um, appendix removed this morning or something like that. And... Uh, Basically, I have to go to a meeting with Maria right now. So I'm gonna to go to the real estate meeting with Maria, and uh, after that, Marcus has to be at an important meeting too with the uh, event planner. So you're gonna stay here and take care of this, okay? Okay, I have to stay here the whole time? Yes, Paul, but only for a little while, okay? Till we get back, then you can take a break then. Okay. Quick, come on, he's waiting for us. Yes, Maria. Uh, listen, do whatever you want till we're back, okay? I'll try and keep her away as long as possible, okay? All right. See ya. It's okay. I don't bite. What's the matter, Paul? You miss your friends and roommates? Kind of. I just really miss my ex-girlfriend. Can't stop thinking about her, you know? Your ex-girlfriend, huh? Interesting. Yeah, it's complicated. Man, this place is pretty boring, man. Yeah. We should scope out somebody to talk to about blood and sacrifice. Yeah. Uh-oh. Careful what you ask for. Hi, how are you two? Can I answer you guys in the brief survey? It'll only take five minutes. No, we're, we're good. Thank uh, you, though. Okay, well, do you guys have any questions about the event? No, but hey, man, do you know if there's some pizza on the premise, or perhaps some nachos or something? No, 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 that's naughty food. We don't have that here. We have healthy options like fruit and vegetables. This guy is perked out. What a character. <laughs> what the? 
What are these guys doing here? Vegan, organic, gluten-free, and non-GML options only. Great. So do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I'm good. Those guys. <sighs> See you later. Okay, bye. What are you guys doing here? Well, we were bored, right gang? Yeah. yeah. Plus, this place sounded awesome. And it's for a good cause. How'd you even find this place? We found this fire on your doorstep, bro. Oh, great. We brought some goodies. The best kind. Claire brought Todd's stash. Man, dude, Todd's missing out today. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep. It's gonna be a fun time. Okay. Wonder where Stu went. Oh well, these guys are cool. Man, Orville, you're <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Fucking Orville, bro. Well, sorta. Sharon? Hey, Stuart, what are you doing here? Donating. <laughs> With what money? You haven't been working. Don't worry about my business. I'm kidding. Do you want some cookies? Or do you have any new referrals for clients? <sighs> nah, no, I'm good. What? Is Shelly not keeping you busy? Oh, no. She's moving to New York to be on Broadway. Uh -huh. Really? Yep. For real? Like, no shit? No. I'm not kidding. She earned it, unlike some people. Have a lovely time at the event, Sharon. All right. Bye, Stuart. So, Paul, you really think there's a chance you'll be getting back together with Shelly? How do you know her name? You haven't shut up about her for the past hour. You are really annoying, Paul. It's okay, it's just... Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, what's up, guys? I wasn't expecting to see all of you. Hey, come join us. I can't, I gotta wait till the boss gets back. You're gonna miss out, bro. It's okay. Oh, wait, hey, wait, um, this is my coworker, Sylvan. Sylvan? Hug? Hey, stay away from me. You got it, Chico. Come on, bro, let's go. Well, I think we're gonna continue on here. Nice meeting you, Sylvan. Later, Paul. Hey, hey, uh, Roger Hauser, financial planner, web designer. Dream maker, budget king. Hey, from Rally Studios, um, the role of Frankie, the addition. Yes, hi, Stuart. Didn't know you'd be here. Heh, <laughs> me neither. My roommate works for the company and everything. What are you doing here? I run a casting company with my father and my brother doing a workshop. Hello, Lester McFiddlepick, and this is my son Zeke. This is your dad, Lester McFiddlepick? I almost worked with him a little while back. What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca? Rebecca Mc... Rebecca McFiddlepick? so familiar. Look, if you're not interested in our workshop, can you please just move along? All right, geez. Be on my way. He seemed like a nice guy. <clears throat> Jeez, what's her problem? Why was she so familiar? Come on. Rebecca McFiddlepick. Why does that name sound familiar? Let's get them brownies, guys. Brownies? The best brownies. Delicious. Is this a... Is this Todd's recipe? Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, I'm good on that. You guys go ahead. What? Are you a scaredy cat? Dude, Todd has the best shit. Weed brownies? Oh, God. Well, it is California. And it is safer than drinking. We're not in a bar this time. <laughs> well, I'm down to get baked. It'll at least make this event more enjoyable.
These little guys? Mmm. Not bad. Can't really taste the weed at all. Pretty good, actually. This is gonna be a fun trip. Now to chill out and have a good time. I wish Stu was here, though. Wonder where the hell he went. So, Bart, what happened to the old place on Fairfax? In the life, there were wolves and their little piggies. A wolf came into the bar, and let's just say, I huff and I puff, and the wolf is gone. You get it, kid? Yeah. I hear you loud and clear, man. <laughs> so, I had to move shop. Wise choice. Wise choice. Hey, Bart! Yeah, Sugar Plum? We need three shots of tequila, please. Boom shaka. Actually, I'll have a, a whiskey meat. Wait, wait. Are you sure? I'm fine. Pammy, now be careful. We can't have any more sloppy three ways. My dad is done getting fed frames. He said that was the last one. Aw, oh, shit. Rick, what kind of a hole in the wall did you bring me to? Well, Yelp said it was the nicest in the area. Yes, baby doll. We are a shithole. We are trash. But sweet thing. We will give you the best night you've ever had. I'll have a scotch, whatever he's having. That's what I want to hear. Jesus. Man, I haven't boomed in such a long time. This is dope. I hate the waiting period. Guys, just let them do their thing. Forget you even took them. <laughs> I haven't smoked in so long. I've never really done edibles, so this should be fun. <laughs> My stomach's acting a little funky. I guess that's just what it does. You're awfully quiet, Matt. You ever shroomed before? Mushrooms? Hell no, never done them. I've always been too scared to try. Well, today's the day. <laughs> Why? Did someone here have some? Nope. We ate them all. And you had the biggest piece. What are you talking about? The weed brownies? <laughs> <laughs> weed brownies? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, those were mushroom brownies. <laughs> Wait, what? You just powder them down and bake them with chocolate. Yum, yum, yum. That sounds good. Todd doesn't eat weed, bro. He smokes it. <laughs> That's how Todd plays. He loves shrooms. Wait, what? I just took shrooms here with these guys? Dude, don't be good, Matt. I'll make sure you don't trip out. Bro, I'm just gonna save me if I freak out? Why, why am I gonna freak out? Dude, just ride it out, bro. We're all in this together. Yeah, dude. Remember my mantra? My meditation? Holy shit. Okay, while I process this, which I don't know how I'm going to do. Wait, what is going on? What the hell was that? Shit. Okay, I gotta take a break. I don't know where Stu is, but hope he's alright. Well, see you in a bit. So who's the uh, strapping young fella here who's been quiet the entire time? I am Rick Russell. I am the manager of Lyso Cherry, the company she owns. Lyso Cherry? My roommate works there. Paul Dontario. You're Paul's roommate? Oh, that's great. He's a, he's a great worker. Who's Paul? You know, the new guy. The tall, with the dark hair. Oh, big sexy. Oh, my 
My thoughts are starting to race. Well, what's Mac doing with a cookie? What? Everyone here at this table. Wait, what's what's Paul doing? What? He's at his table. Is, is he at my table? Oh, kind of freaking out. Man, it's pretty windy outside. Thank <laughs> you.